Hello, my name is Ellie Sturges and I am the Director of Music here at Millfield Prep School. Our music department prides itself on providing an inclusive and inspiring musical education with the ultimate aim of enthusing and nurturing our pupils at all levels of their music making. We're exceptionally lucky to have outstanding facilities here at the Prep School. Our department was completely refurbished in the summer of 2019 and boasts 22 uh, music practice rooms, two large teaching classrooms which are fully equipped with instruments including a large number of tuned and untuned percussion instruments, keyboards and iMac computers which are essential for composition. We also have a large recital hall which houses a Yamaha grand piano. The recital hall seats approximately 200 people and is used regularly for concerts and recitals. So around half of our pupils at the prep school have individual or shared music lessons uh, on one or more different instruments or voice, of course. We have 18 specialist music teachers who offer tuition on a whole host of different instruments, about 25 actually different instruments that we offer here at the prep school. Uh, pupils are also given numerous opportunities to participate in extracurricular music at the school. We run several large ensembles. Things like, of course, our school orchestra, our wind band, brass ensemble, as well as several different very, very successful choirs. We have senior choir, chamber choir, junior choir. Uh, and in addition, we also run smaller chamber ensembles from beginner ensembles through to advanced. We've also recently established uh, many different rock bands in every year group from year three through to year eight. And we also have a wonderful jazz and blues band, which has been newly established. So there really are endless opportunities for performance here at Millfield Prep School. Our music calendar boasts near weekly events, everything from our tea and music and cushion concerts, which provide friendly and informal opportunities for solo performance, through to our large scale end of term concerts, things like our carol service in Wells Cathedral, our whole schoolhouse singing competition, musical productions, workshops, masterclasses, and of course, the very popular annual rock and pop concert. Actually, our last end of term concert involved close to 200 pupils, which I think is a great testament to the strength and love of music in our school. We also, of course, regularly perform externally and we collaborate with the senior school, which allows our pupils to perform in the Johnson Hall, an incredible performance space. And it also gives them access to working with world renowned musicians in workshops and masterclasses. I think uh, one of the things that I really, really need to stress is that there is a real focus on inclusivity in the music department at the prep school. And there is a drive to allow every single pupil to discover a love of music. I'm exceptionally proud of the fact that every pupil will perform in a music event at some point in the calendar year, whether it be as part of the Year 4 Orchestral Project or the Year 6 Ukulele Program or perhaps Year 7 Battle of the Set Singing Competition or the whole Schoolhouse Singing Competition or even one of the end of term musical productions, every pupil has the opportunity to perform. Having said that, of course, we also, of course, cater for our especially skilled musicians and we run a highly successful extension program for those year eight pupils preparing for music scholarships. In the last five years, our year eight pupils have gone on to gain 54 music scholarships to independent schools, which is something I'm exceptionally proud to be able to say. So at open days, I do get asked a number of questions and sometimes the same questions do pop up. So I thought it might be helpful to answer and address some of those in this video. The first one, and it's not surprising that I get asked this when parents come to Millfield Prep as it is a very busy school and we do cater for children who excel in several different areas, is uh, my child is musical, but also academic and sporty. So can Millfield Prep support my child in all of these areas? Now to that I would say absolutely. We pride ourselves on treating every child as an individual and think it's extremely important to allow children the opportunity to shine in as many different areas as possible. We're also obviously very used to working together across departments to allow children to balance their extracurricular timetables in a manageable way. It's very helpful to me that music clubs do take priority at lunch times. Um, it's helpful because, of course, it allows pupils to participate in music without the worry that they're missing out on a team practice or a team selection. If a clash does occur, which of course sometimes it does in a school as busy as ours, then we always try to work with parents and the child and find a way to enable uh, the child to do both activities, whatever they may be. This might be if it's a clash between, say, a music concert and a sporting event to allow the people to perform early in the concert and then depart. 
uh, if it is a clash uh, that happens on a regular basis between two clubs. We have in the past uh, explored allowing pupils to take part in extracurricular music clubs on a fortnightly basis to allow them to do both clubs simultaneously. The most important thing to us at the prep school is to allow children to fulfil their potential uh, and enjoy music at the school and, like I say, really shine in as many different areas as they want to. Do you have access to a recording studio? We are extremely fortunate in the technology that we do have at the prep school. Now that all pupils have their own iPads in year six to eight, recording in lessons is possible and we also have access to an excellent audio interface on the iMacs which are um, housed in the music teaching classrooms. They allow really good quality of recording directly into GarageBand which then can be further worked on. The senior school also have a fantastic recording studio uh, which we have made use of in the past for our pe prep school pupils. So there is the opportunity for our pupils to take advantage of that um, if they would like to do so. How many hours of contact time will my child have with their instrumental teacher each week? Lessons are timetabled for 40 minutes in 40 minute slots once a week and they work on a rotation basis. As lessons rotate throughout the day, it means that pupils are not having to continually miss the same academic lesson. Um, our VMT staff are also contactable via their school emails and parents are encouraged to contact teachers with any questions relating to their child's progress. Of course, pupils who have individual instrumental lessons also um, get end of term reports and grades, which give them an indication as to how things are progressing in their individual music lessons. What makes music at Millfield Prep different? I think what makes us unique is our ability to tailor individual music programs for every pupil and also um, our firm belief in inclusiveness. All pupils perform in a major musical event at some point throughout the year and most perform in two or more events. I am so, so proud of the fact that we have such a high proportion of our pupils participating in the large end of term concerts uh, the last concert actually we had, I said earlier that we had close to 200 pupils performing in that concert, which is such a testament to the strength of music in the school. And I also think that seeing the pupils really enjoy taking part in the music is so rewarding. The quality and the scale, I think really, of our music at the prep school sets us apart. Our scholarship candidates also meet once a week to study more advanced chamber music and we are often catering for pupils working towards uh, grade eight um, at the prep school. So I think that the combination of the inclusiveness that we have uh, as well as the desire to really stretch our pupils and get them to achieve as much as they possibly can is what sets us apart. My child would like to try out some different musical instruments. Would they have the opportunity to do this and see what fits them best? Well, we are really proud to be able to offer free trial lessons at the prep school. So this allows pupils the opportunity to try out as many different instruments as they would like to, absolutely free of charge. It's a really wonderful opportunity to be able to meet the teacher on whichever instrument you're trying. Obviously try the instrument to see if it's a good fit for you. Uh, and then after this, we run a five week probation period for lessons, meaning that at any time during those first five weeks, a pupil is able to cease lessons without the normal terms uh, written notice period applying. This again allows time to really make sure that the instrument is right for the pupil and also I think um, removes some of that initial worry that parents might experience in making a commitment to music lessons. So these free trial lessons basically allow our pupils to try something new and possibly find a new talent for an instrument that they might not have tried otherwise. In addition to this, at year two um, our pupils are currently learning to play either the violin or the cello and in year four all pupils take part in uh, the orchestral project. The first music lesson uh, that they experience in September they go around and try out a whole host of different orchestral instruments. They then indicate which one they would like to have a go at. Our teachers indicate which ones they feel the pupils might be best suited to and then uh, the pupil is matched up with an instrument and a teacher and they learn that throughout the year and at the end of the year our year fours take part in the big summer end of term concert as the year four orchestra which is always a fantastic and very proud moment for me uh, and the year sixes as part of their music curriculum all learn to play the ukulele so children at our school really do have 
countless opportunities to try different instruments, um, uh, either as part of their class music lessons or uh, exploring taking up individual music if they would like to do that. What are you looking for in awarding a music scholarship? I get asked this question a lot, as you can imagine, at Open Day, and I cannot stress enough that the most important thing when it comes to scholarship, music scholarship, is that a pupil demonstrates a real passion for music and a love for the instrument or instruments that they're offering at audition. The progress they demonstrate, their general musicality and a desire to really get involved in the life uh, or the musical life at the school are so much more important than grades. Uh, and if a pupil has an aptitude and a love for music, this is always really evident um, at interview. So that is the most important thing. It's not being, you know, a grade eight prodigy. It's a love for music. It's making good progress because you're committed to your instrument and practicing. Uh, and of course, a desire to get involved with music at the school. In terms of the scholarship process, I always try and make the interview itself as relaxed and friendly as possible. Obviously, I don't want pupils um, feeling stressed. I want them to feel at ease and allow them to really shine through and communicate with me. Uh, I tend to ask for two contrasting pieces on first study, one piece on any subsequent instrument. Offering a subsequent instrument, a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth instrument is not a necessity. I think it's important to say that. Uh, we then, after we've had the pieces, we go on to do a bit of sight reading on first study instrument or voice if it's voice, a few oral tests, and finally we have a bit of a chat at the end of the interview. If anyone does have any specific questions about the scholarship process, please do feel free uh, to contact uh, myself directly or admissions uh, and we'll be happy to advise on the process.